Can the church praise God? I want to be more and more like Jesus. I want to be more and more like Jesus. No, 
brethren, to the scripture that was read, I won't go through, but it was written by Isaiah. We know that Isaiah was a real prophet, and he was described as an Eli prophet, and he prophesied the birth of Jesus Christ 700 years before, and he was also associated with German. Um, but Isaiah, in this scripture, he saw Israel going into bondage a second time because they were in bondage before where Moses, God rose of Moses to deliver them out of the land of Egypt. But this time around, Isaiah saw because Israel's behavior, the Lord was not pleased. So he saw them going in bondage again, in going into captivity. But with that, he also gave them a word of encouragement that, hey, God is with you. Amen, everybody. Sometimes, brethren, we forsake God and we do all that we can. But the mighty God that we serve is always faithful and just to forgive. Amen, somebody. So I encourage your hearts this morning. The, the, the verse that jumps out is, uh, it says, when you are, and I'm reading from the Message Bible. When you are going through rough waters, how many of us have ever been to the sea? Or you've been to a river? Yes. And the water in the sea gets rough. Yes. Praise God. You know, my church is having a, 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 a trip sometime at the end of this month. And every Sunday I take the pulpit and I said, if the sea is rough, please do not allow it to pass your anchor. Because I, I don't want any, any mishap. But here, literally, God is saying to Israel, when you go through dangerous waters, I will be with you. In fact, when you go through dangerous situations in life, hallelujah, it will not kill you. You will feel hurt, but you will come out victorious. Amen, church? Sometimes life has a way of push us into some deep, rough waters. Sometimes we go through grieving sessions. Amen. Sometimes we go through a grieving scenario, a grieving pain. Sometimes we lose something that we hold to our hearts dearly. But brethren, the Lord will give us that determination and that strength to go through. Amen. Amen. The, 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 the theme this morning said, we will go through. And when I came and I heard you sang it saying, uh, many once started to walk with the Lord. You know, but, when, but they could not endure it. But this morning we will make a, 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 a declaration yeah. that we will go through. Amen. Yeah. Can the church lift up a praise unto God? Yeah. I declare that we will go through. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm here to encourage you this morning. You've got to go through rough situations. You've got to go through, go through, oh God, tough times. But be reminded that the word of God will always comfort your brethren because the word of God says oh hallelujah that the Lord is my light and my salvation who shall I fear you don't need to fear the pants of the enemy because victory is yours somebody said I prevail I prevail I prevail you prevail over every wicked situation this morning you prevail over every attack of the enemy Your 
So what? You are you perfect? Go ahead and get the bad talk. God will take you through. Yeah. I don't think somebody here with this morning. If you feel dumb that people is talking bad about you, get over it, somebody. Yeah. Get, get, get over it. Get over it. So so what? They talk about the Lord Jesus. They spoke bad things about him. They described him as being the lawbreaker. He was a wine bibber. And he, and, 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 and he did not keep the laws of the land. Brethren, if Jesus can go through, you can go through. Yeah. I'm going through with Jesus. I'm going through. I'll take the prayer. Until I win the victory, till I win. Yes. God allowed the sun to stand still for me. 
So when I got married, that's a young man because I got. Okay, Bertrand. I didn't have to marry the mic when it is in them. Because I didn't burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up. But, but I had to go through. I had to. So at one point, I can't tell how God works things out for me. In my 20s, because I was so dedicated to the church and the choir, my pastor said to me one Saturday, he said, Tomorrow, get the young people, we're going to Westmoreland. So, and it was short notice, but because the bishop said we're going to Westmoreland. Yeah. Everything has to drop for the ministry. But brethren, I never know when I go to Westmoreland that evening, I was going to see my wife. Come on now. I stood at the church door, looking in, getting my choir ready to go up, and I see my wife in a regular choir uniform, black and white, and I said to my friend, hey, the girl, they I feel married to her. <laughs> See her hand over her instantly. Mm-hmm. But guess what, Virgin? Me, I broke packet. Me, don't have money. <laughs> All we have are the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> but this man said, We have no. Virgin? So look here. When we see her, look here. We tell my friend and say, Look here. Ashim. My friend said, What, Jeremy? You don't know her? We said, Ashim. <laughs> <laughs> so say, You are night in a church. When we say, Hallelujah, we have a church. <laughs> Which I could not wait for church end to get a number. When we go to the sister and we have played, see you, see you. You know, it's when it's a youth convention, we need to visit again. Yeah, no? I know what you want. You want number and stuff, but I'm not here to give you <laughs> She said, You town man, you know, come church, you town um, church brother, you know, come and I play, play around and. I don't even feel like looking at shit. She sent me on my merry way. Oh my God. But guess what? Her mother and her father, they were in the choir. So we're going to talk to his father and the mother and make friends with them. We get it. We get a number. We start calling and talk about Jesus and start praying powerful. Come on, have you put in the application? Yeah. Anyway, Christian, God work it out so good. It work, it work, it work. But I remember her father said to me, say, if you're married to her, I go up here and call it she. Oh, me say, eh? No, my man, you with that thing she don't call it. You know, I'm not call it she, because then tell me, no, I'm not rigid, no, I say no. Meet me life, but they can't track yet, you know. But they can't, all we do, just don't dress up and go to church and sing, and cry, and pray, and run testimony. No, no, I'm going to me. You know, one of the preacher is teaching job and that not just spread money. Yeah. But anyway, a friend of mine, God, Bridget, brothers, God. have good friends in church. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritual yeah. friends. Yeah. A friend of mine, and so you know Donald Purge. Yeah. Donald Purge said to me, said, Jeremy, are we away from tomorrow? You know, so we married. We said, we don't have no money. Donald said, go plan the wedding. Go plan it. Jesus did. And then, look at me and Dad have a friend, friend. And the man put feet in him. Yeah. Yes. We start put wedding, we start put wedding plans together. Yeah. No and money. we don't have no money. No, no. Brethren, Jesus of this, I took a risk. And people from the church know who start talking. Yeah. Because we have a married and we don't have nothing. We don't go to university yet, we don't go this yet. But guess what? Me and plan my wedding. Yeah. Brethren. At that time, he said, me God, we put a wedding list together and we said, God, no, make Bishop call me, ask me about the people we are coming with a lot of money. And every night I pray for that wedding list. Okay, yeah. my Bishop threw a pool water for the wedding, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm get licky, I get licky, oh, God, help us. Anyway, he called me, because he said, yes, so we have planned a big wedding. I mean, I have no money. So if I call out of wisdom, he said, cut, cut, cut. But anyway, brethren, I didn't listen to the show. The plan of this is a big wedding. This is a for a church. 80 people at bridal party. 250 people get big wedding. Come on now. Can I tell you something? Up till today, me no buy a ring, me no know where the frog come from, me no know where the soup come from. People bless me for my wedding. You know why? I sold out. I sold out.
And you know what God does for me? The same year I got married. Almost 19 years now. You know what God does for me? A low. Because I had the subjects, but not. But you know what I hear in that church? Are you stuck on your talent? And you're stumbling out the body if you push you, but you're stumbling on the subject then. I'm going to go in and my go. And the lady said, You have the subject, and I'm going to say yes. God favor me. Oh, she God. said, Nobody did not interview. My God. She screeched, she answered him. See the voucher, you're going to pay this money. And she gave it to me, and nobody will see. But I go to my mother, can we just marry now? I said, Mommy, I'll get you for God, money, my go college. She said, yo, run. I'm the only one for my mother, only child. And I live, I live next door to KC and South Yom on North Street. That's where, that's where I was born. One big tenement here. And my mother, my, my mother died living in one little room. We want three quarter bed. So all my mother did, being going to primary school, my mother just pushed me one day in the church here. And I said, go and go sit down and bathe yourself. But from that day, my mother pushed me at the church gate. My life changed. Hallelujah. She did not know she was going to change. She pushed me into my destiny. Yeah. When we go into the church, I turn up at the church door. I want to lick up by a great two. Eight year old. Mr. Stan, I'm going to look. I'm going to see the children's square. I'm going to see the adult choir. I'm going to see the young people's choir. I'm going to see it. More than more than in where I am. But you may never know God. Me never go. Me never, me never, me never see me and my mother go to church in front of my barn. That was the only day. You know why she pushed me at the church? She was frustrated. Yeah. Couldn't buy a book. Yeah. Couldn't buy, give me lunch money. She, that Sunday morning, we think she'll go walk and kill her. She'll go find this here and jump in. But she pushed me at the church here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, when I enter so young for church, Jesus. it's as if I enter a new world. People in the church love me. Yeah. <laughs> love me. Because guess what? I could have seen. I'm going to go with the right attitude. Yes. When we go to church, we never fall in the wrong company at church. Yes. I fell into the right company because in church, you have the wrong company. Yes. Yes. You know that? But somebody took me under their wings. Thank God, missionary old Magrida. She had my name saved. Took me under her wings. And when church done, my God, me have a little sweet if you get me have a piece of bulla. Yeah. Me have two crackers. Till me get to love her and love the church. And, and I would leave the church. I would leave my house on North Street. I go to church early Sunday morning. But don't stop the bench there. Go back home and get ready for Sunday school. Walk it again in the evening for night service yeah. and dust off. But brethren, that day, when I said I want to be on one of these choirs, my life changed.